What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we have uh, defeated Blaine, the seventh gym leader of the Cinnabar Island gym, and now it is time for us to go to Viridian City. Well, it is already here. Now it's time for us to challenge the gym leader of the Viridian City. Now, we don't know who he is, or she, I think you guys already know, but yeah, if you come over here, and you, what the hell? Where, where, where's, where's Grandpa? Hold on. Uh, my shop. Okay. Oh yeah, he's still, he's still left. Huh. Never mind. Okay. So, if you go right over here and you talk to this individual, the Viridian gym leader's returned. Huh. Okay. So let's see who the gym leader is. Uh, Pokemon Gym. It's still leaving it uh, as a mystery. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right here, guys. We're gonna be trying to find out who the gym leader is. We don't need no key. We don't need nothing. We just need to go in. Talk to this guy. Yo, champion of making. Even I don't know the gym leader's uh, identity. This will be the tough, uh, toughest of all gym leaders. I heard that the trainers here are like ground type Pokemon. Okay, we already know how to defeat those guys. Let's go right ahead and switch out and uh, use Sir Razor because last episode Sir Razor was at a huge disadvantage. Now, again, very, very underleveled. And this is for just me to show you guys that I can do it. I can defeat everybody. And, uh, yeah, at a lower levels and stuff. It's not really that hard to beat. So here we go. Tamer wants the battle, and he's coming out with an Arbok. Arbok is a uh, poison type Pokemon. We do not have the move for that, but let's go ahead and put it to sleep. That's way, that way we don't lose a turn. And as you can see, it's still asleep. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and switch out to Terramon. Now, how is Ar Arbok a ground or, yeah, ground type Pokemon? If anything, it is, uh, it is weak against ground type. So, here we go. Earthquake attack. Earthquake attack does it. Oh, look at that. Earthquake does it. Yes. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Tauros. This is a new one right here. So let's go straight to Godzilla, Godzilla, and Tauros. This is probably the only person here that actually uses a Tauros for a Pokemon. So let's go with the Dragon Rage. That's right, Godzilla, Godzilla, looking pretty fantastic right now. Taking 40 points, and we're getting stomped at. Hmm. So here we go. Slash attack. Slash attack does it. And it's a critical hit, so here comes another stomp attack again. And uh, that doesn't really do much, but here we go, slash attack. For the win! And there goes Tauros. Okay, this Tamer does have some pretty cool Pokemon. Hmm, yeah, it's Whiplash! Yes, it's Whiplash. Okay, now, if any any of these panels don't give you any hint of who the next gym leader is, yeah, I would say stop playing Pokemon right now. But no, let's go straight to Ultra Psycho and see what this next individual has. And Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Hmm. Okay, alright. The ultimate form of martial arts. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a black belt. Only has one Pokemon and does come out with a Machoke at level 43. Should be no problem for all of us. So let's go straight for a Psychic Attack. And this Psychic Attack does its trick. Beating Machoke. Or Buff Bagwell, as you guys like to call him. And, well, here is the black belt. Ouch! Yes. And, well, you can't really see who the gym leader is. They're really making it hard for you to see. So, yes, we're spinning along, seeing what else we can actually find. Now, there are quite a few trainers here. I believe seven of them. And, well, let's see. Who is next? You know what? Let's go with Aaliyah. See if these guys actually have ground-type Pokemon. Well, those guys do. This guy probably doesn't. Viridian, uh, Viridian Gym was close for a long time, but now our leader is back. Hmm. He's back. Hmm. And here we have a cool trainer looking uh, like a cool trainer himself. And he's coming out with the level 39 Nidorino. Not exactly a ground type Pokemon. But still a poison type Pokemon trainer. And, well, there's a poison sting. And that one hits us pretty hard. So let's go again. Thunderbolt for the win. And just like that, Leah has won. And, well, here comes a Nidoking. Now, this is a ground-type Pokemon, so 
Let's go to the secret weapon, Ultra Psycho. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I could have had an I could have had a Neo King. I really could have. Okay, alrighty. So let's go psychic attack. And this psychic attack does its trick because Neo King has no effect. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right. So we're doing right. I was beaten. Yes, you were. Okay. Let's move on. Maximum effort and maximum dizziness. Now, this is the only gym right here, too, that will offer up a, an item within it. So, just be aware of that. Now, these guys do have some water or some ground type Pokemon. So, let's go straight to Torpedo. Let's, battle, uh, let's go ahead and battle this guy first. <laughs> you must be running out of steam by now. Nope. Nope. Just getting started. Okay, alrighty, so here we go, taking on Cool Trainer, and he's coming out with a Sand Slash, so I actually uh, predicted this correctly right here. Alright, let's go, serve attack. For the win! And look at that. Look at that, oh my god. And a critical hit does its trick. And more boosted up points, and Torpedo grows to level 44. And coming out with a Doug Trio, this is a Pokemon that can actually match you speed for speed. So let's go again, Surf Attack. Hmm. Very, very fast Pokemon, probably because it's like on the ground and all that. And, well, there we go. Defeated the Trio. And more points for all of us, and we are saved. Look at that. I ran out of gas. Yes, you did. Okay, so this next guy probably has some fighting type Pokemon. Let's go with Godzilla and see what happens. Hmm. Roar! Working myself into a rage. Uh huh. Okay. A lot of these guys have a lot of interesting things to say, and just like that, yes, he is a black belt coming out with a Machop, level 40. I mean, you could have evolved it. I'm just saying. All right, let's go fly attack. Let's do it. And well, here comes the fly attack. And just like that, Machop has been defeated. And uh, let's see, coming out with a Machamp. Now, it would be nice to actually have a Machamp right here. Although, we could get a Machamp pretty early. And uh, we got Jilla flying away. Come up with a fly attack. And look, oh wow, Macho just, uh, <laughs> he just survived. Let's go, slash attack. It won't do much, but it's still something. And there we go, defeated Macho. And yes, this Black Belt's not too happy. <laughs> Probably because we know its movesets and all that stuff, or knew, know of its Pokemon. So let's go with Sir Razor. See if uh, this actually works out. And Pokemon and I will make wonderful music together. This can't be an electric type gym or a Pokemon trainer. I don't know. Okay, so here comes a Tamer, and he is coming out with a Rhyhorn. Yeah, one, one actual level from evolving. So let's go straight for a Mega Drain attack. And that right there does the trick. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So, yes, we're doing something. And, uh, well, that's a, that's a victory for us. A moral victory. Now, again, this is the only place, the only gym that will actually offer up an, uh, an item to you. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out. You know what? Let's go ahead and continue with Sir Razor. Should, uh, it should be okay. Let's see. The truly talented win with style. They do? I didn't even know that. Okay, so here we go. Another cool trainer, and he's coming out with a Rhyhorn. So I've, uh, I've predicted this correctly. I was just going off my gut right here. And let's go straight for a Mega Drain attack. And look at that. Okay, Rhyhorn had no chance whatsoever against a Razor. And there we go. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> he lost his grip. Whatever. Okay, so now we gotta actually take on this guy right here, and he uh, looks like a fighting type gym. Or yeah, he is the Karate King. Okay, so what is the Karate King doing in the ground type gym? Now, do fighting type Pokemon count as ground types? I don't know. Okay, so here we go, taking on Macho, and well, let's go ahead and put him to sleep. Yes. Okay, the strategic Pokemon right here. So Machoke's not looking so good right now, and let's go straight for a Mega Drain. And that right there takes a little bit of its HP. Let's go ahead and use Acid. Okay. 
Now, I wish it was a lot, like a, a, a stronger move than Acid right here in Generation 1, but you guys already know. And, well, let's see. One more Acid attack. Come on. Work for it. And just like that, critical hit for the win. And Sir Razor grows a level 43 alongside his comrades. And this guy's going to be coming out with a macho or Machop. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go right here. Ultra Psycho. Going for a Psychic Attack right here. And this Psychic Attack does the trick. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And let's see. He's going to come out with a Macho. So good thing is... We got the uh, we got the Pokemon for this, so here comes a Psychic Attack yet again. And just like that, Machoke has been defeated, and uh, we are victorious. We are uh, cl clearly victorious right there. Okay, so that was the last of all these trainers right here. Holy crud. Now we can actually move on ahead to the Gym Leader, and let's go right here. And we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. And... Okay, we're just losing our... We're, eventually, we're going to have to throw up here. Somewhere along down the road. Okay, so here we are. And just like that, guys, we have made it to the last gym leader. And it looks like it's Giovanni himself. So before anything, let's go ahead and heal up my Pokemon. Didn't really take a lot of damage, but... It's always nice to have Pokemon that are, you know, nice and healed and whatnot. So there we go. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's start off with Torpedo first. I kind of have a feeling this guy's going to try and do something funny. <laughs> this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding anything back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. The greatest trainer. I wonder if... You know, he could be the greatest trainer ever if he was just good. But, I don't know. Anywho, guys. You guys already know what's good, what I'm about to say. I love this song. Okay, so here it is, guys. The final gym battle against Giovanni himself. Team Rocket's leader, by the way. And he does have some pretty tanky Pokemon at level 50. So, yeah, we're going to have to go straight for the uh, Water-type, Grass-type Pokemon attacks. Hell, he does have he does have, uh, have uh, some Poison-slash-Ground-type Pokemon, so make sure to have a Psychic-type Pokemon just in case. Or, hell, even a Ground-type. And, well, look at that. Torpedo is at level 45, taking everything. And here he's going to be coming out with a Persian. Now, Persian is a very strong Pokemon, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out... And I'm going to go with good old Terramon because it does have some pretty good defenses. And let's go with a counterattack. And this guy's going to go with a guard spec. Oh, so the guard spec actually works. Holy crud, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not know that counted. Okay. All right. I, I wasn't expecting that. You saw it here first, guys. If the other trainer uses guard spec, counter's going to work. Okay, so here we go, Psychic Attack. Yes, we are dominating this guy. Straight up dominating him. And, well, here comes a Tail Whip. Not gonna work. It's not going to work. And... There we go, Psychic Attack. Again, for the win. Oh, yes. And say hello to level 44. And here comes Nido King. So we're going to continue on right here with uh, good old Ultra Psycho. Nido King is at level 55, 11 levels ahead of us. And well, Ultra Psycho just looks at him and scoffs. Look at that. Super effective. More points for all of us. And here he comes out with the ride on. Let's go with Sir Razor. We're going to be sweeping him. Oh, yes. Level 55 ride on right here. First time we're ever seeing him. Let's go with the Sleep Powder. And yes, you cannot wake up from this. Okay, alrighty. So let's go ahead and Mega Drain this guy till its very last uh, HP. And just like that. Yeah, oh, he's coming out with the Guard Spit again. So here we go again. Mega Drain. And just like that, we have defeated Giovanni with some mere four level 40 Pokemon right there. Look at that. <laughs> That was a truly intense fight. You have won. 
As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Look at that, guys, throwing out the peace sign. The Earth Badge makes a Pokemon of all any level obey. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for you uh, for your Pokemon League challenge. And here we get the or the TM27 Fissure. It will take out a Pokemon with just one hit. I made it. I made it when I was when I ran the gym here a long time ago. Hmm. Having loss, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And just like that, he disappears. Now, doesn't this look appropriate? Me, a gym leader, you know, gym leader Draven. <laughs> Anywho, look at that, guys. We have won eight badges. Eight friggin' badges. And uh, my chances to go into the Pokemon League are, are you know, they, 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 they've gone up a lot. And I, I cannot wait to actually finish this whole thing. And, well, let's see. Blow me away. Giovanni was the gym leader here? Yes, he was. Okay. So, that right there concludes our episode. And, well, in the next episode, I kind of want to go to the Pokemon League. But then, there is this thing about uh, something else. But, you know what? We're going to go straight to the Pokemon League, as I just remembered. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our badges, if we can actually go in here, or something like that. You know what, we're gonna be right here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at all our badges in the game, not onto the side right here. Look at that, all eight badges, 72 hours completed, mainly because of the speed button. And, uh, yeah, we are primed to go to the Pokemon League, so, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the Pokemon League, the Viridian, uh, not the Viridian, uh, thing, but the Victory Road. And from there, we'll see what else happens maybe even level up our Pokemon. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, notifications button, and if you guys want to make a small donation down there below. And well, I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.